Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about GCR settings in Ergosoft. So, for anyone that doesn't really have a good handle on what GCR is, a GCR setting stands for Gray Component Replacement. And basically, what you do with CMYK Ink Model is you utilize CMY to generate your grays or your neutral tones. And you do that up to a certain point until you need a very a dark enough shade so that black has to be used. So there's a recipe for using CMY for your light gray up to a certain you know density of, of dark and then you're using black. And this is kind of a a black box for for many out there that aren't super familiar with it. So we wanted to provide some information about, hey, what's GCR? What's the best setting to use? And Mike has a ton of experience with uh, various applications. So Mike, walk us through uh, what the best way to go is depending on what you're doing. Thanks, Chris. So like you said, GCR, right? So where you set up GCR is in Color GPS. And these are the different options. So as you were talking about, at what point are you using CMY and when do you start using actual black ink? That's what this is. So for instance, if you use GCR zero, you're not using black ink for neutral tones and grays. It's going to use only CMY. That's fine, but it's going to use a lot of ink, right? Because at a certain point, you're able to use black and then you're only using one ink. So that's a money saver saving, right? It's going to save you some money. So that's kind of the balance here that we're looking for is we want a great, nice, neutral color, but at a certain point, it's going to start getting very expensive. So, so it would be very rare to use GCR zero. Very yeah, rare. I, I never have, um, as you mentioned in, in all the profiling that I've done, I've never used GCR zero. Um, and so real quick, I'll go over these options, as you can see on the screen. GCR1, it's going to use black ink in the very dark tones. So basically black, right? In the dark tones, it's going to use black if you do GCR2. This setting is what I use, I would say, 90% of the time, 95% of the time. And that's because if you have, let's say, a, a very dark blue or a dark purple or whatever, it's going to use some black and then it's going to mix in with the CMY mixture and it's going to make a nice smooth color. Um, the reason you wouldn't want to use black in down here for GCR three or four, you, you wouldn't want to use GCR three or four unless you have either like a light black ink in your printer or a gray ink. Let's say you do GCR four and you have black in light tones. You're printing a person a portrait and people's faces have lighter, you know, tones in it. It's going to use black ink. Let's and see. it you'll see like maybe speckles or dots in it that shouldn't really be there. That's why you use the GCR. So if you use GCR2 for that same image, it's going to use CMY to mix to make those lighter neutrals. And it's going to look nice and smooth instead of looking interesting with little dots and speckles all over it. So that's how you tell what setting you should use is what printer you have and what ink it has, basically. Okay, that's a really good point. So essentially what we're saying is GCR2 is a great standard to use. If you're not familiar with what GCR setting to use and you don't have a crazy application, go with GCR2, you should be fine. If you have uh, an expanded ink set that contains light black ink, or light, light black, How? then you might want to choose three or four or right. you know, something even user defined if you're super advanced. Um, and then really just use it as a rule of thumb. Unique application, expanded ink set is going to put you outside of GCR2, but for everything else, should be good. GCR2. Yep. yep. How Excellent. Great, Mike. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everybody. And please contact us if you have any questions.